Okay, so here we have our Haska pump, and today we are going to show you how to set up IV fluids. So we have a couple important buttons uh, that I want everybody to know of. This is the on and off button. This is the prime button, the clear button, select, run, and hold. So we will go over all those. This is your power cord. You need to make sure that your power cord is plugged in. And then when it's in and charging, you have the little green light right here. So first, let's turn it on. Okay, so currently our rate is at 19. So we wanna clear that rate. We wanna go down, let's say we want it to be 120. You can just hold this button down and it will go up to the desired rate. It goes by increments of 10. Then you can hit select. It's gonna show you the time that this machine has been running. So you can clear that. Hit select again. You have your volume to be infused. This one's really important if you are only needing to give a certain amount of fluids over a certain amount of time. A lot of times for our surgeries, we will just put this up to uh, 1,000. But if you have, for instance, a, a dog that you only need to give 50 mils of fluids to, you can actually go up to that 50. Okay. And then the really important thing on this machine here is your volume infused. You need to make sure that when you are starting a patient on fluids, you have to make sure that this is cleared. The reason being is if we have a cat, let's say the cat is blocked and we need to measure the ins and outs on the cat. The volume infused is the total amount of fluids that this cat has got since it's been on this machine. And if for some reason the volume infused is 300 and we just started it on fluids, it could mean that the pump is not working. It could mean that it got too many fluids. The rate was wrong. We really need to make sure that your volume infused is cleared on all patients when you start them on fluids. Then you hit run. Right now, it's giving you an error, error. <laughs> so you hold it, you can open this here. We don't have a line, we don't have a bag set up. So your machine is automatically going to tell you that there's error in the line. So on our next video, we will show you how to set up your fluid bag and get it going.